Hello Bitcoin, this is Dalcor here from BitcoinAsicHosting.com bringing you another unboxing video. As always, the box is empty because I get just too excited when I get here and honestly this one really took the kick for uh, some interesting uh, installation issues. But without further ado, we have now the Dragon T1 Miner. This is one of the newer ASIC miners coming out of China. It looks like some sort of a clone using someone else's chips. And we have one running. So, first thing I want to bring into, and this is something that's really important, is that these units use an internal Raspberry Pi um, control unit. And they are, the interface itself is actually in Chinese. So, I'm going to show you guys this if you guys can see real quick. Just, uh, it's all in Chinese. I'm not going to go there and... Have you guys look at all my uh, account information, but it is in Chinese. So first thing that I found is when you're setting up one of these, do set it up with Google Chrome so you can do the translate into English because you're going to need to see that to be able to um, uh, understand what buttons to push unless you have uh, you know, good understanding of Chinese character ch charactering. So uh, that's the first thing. So this is supposed to be a, um, let's see, it's running at one tera hash right now. Uh, you can kind of see, I'll show you the little screen. I'm sorry about the air, but here you go. You can see what we got going on here. And uh, let's see if we can kind of get it zoomed in. Yeah, it's kind of micro. Uh, there we go. Okay. Well, if you can see that, but it says right now 1.018 terahash per second. And this is actually the LCD screen. Even though it says it's the front, this is actually the back of the unit. Here's where the, uh, the warm air is coming out. So actually, you're going to want to come around here and then focus on, uh, put the, uh, the cold air coming in on the intakes here where actually the power cord is. So minor thing, but um, so that's kind of the orientation. Um, it is a much taller unit than normal, if you guys can tell. This is not quite 8U, but it seems like it's maybe 6 or 7U. So it's a very non-standard case. And stacking them could be an issue because you see right here, we do have a um, exhaust port up here with a running fan, so I'm not sure. It's, it's not too warm right now under load, but I'm not sure if you cover this up what's gonna happen in the internal dynamics. It might not be a problem. Uh, there is a warranty sticker right here, sealed up, and I uh, got three fans in the back, and um, let's see, we got, uh, yeah, none in, or three, excuse me, three fans in the front, none in the back, and then the LCD screen. Okay, so this one came, um, uh, a set for a uh, static IP address so you got to make sure that when you get these units that you actually uh, go through and uh, change your uh, adapter setting to match the subnet for this uh, address you can access the device and then um, you'll find out that when you log into the actual interface and go back over here you go into the interface um, it will be in Chinese. The first line right here, it goes across the top. That's your network information. You'll be able to kind of tell that. This button right here, that sets network, network information. Now, you thought that it would save the worker information and everything else, but it actually does not do that. So you actually have a separate um, uh, button to uh, set the, uh, the worker information for your pool. So then what you do is you set your information here and then put it on whatever your network so you can get back to it. And then what, then what happens is then it will reboot over here, and then your new, to confirm the change, you'll see the new IP address right across here. So this is how you confirm. But you'll have, you'll have no mining information, but just temperature information. So that's how you know you have network uh, information, but you do not have uh, mining action going on. Next thing is, is under here, you're going to have the pool, your worker, and password. The difficulty, it actually has an internal difficulty, so I changed this one for to... 1024 for uh for the difficulty and then right here is where you have to translate basically i'm not actually sure how it works but this is what i did i basically put the pool information in here i hit i hit this button and it has says start and close i just hit it at close and then basically literally turned off the machine and they had and, had, and this one says power automatically i set it to that and then saved it turned on the or turned off the machine brought the machine back up, went through the entire uh, cycle, and voila, it's mining. Okay, so now, uh, so this is the Dragon T1 miner. Now, the most important thing is you guys are probably wondering power usage. So, right now, it is doing 1.018 terahash per second. It is running 1,129 
uh, watts. Now, we just had this thing running for 20 minutes, so we're gonna let it run all night. We'll let you know if there's an update video, if it changes. This is what we're getting about 11.30, let's call it that. And of course, at 120 uh, residential power, we are getting 9.51 amps. And then uh, we're right here, we're doing uh, 118 volts are coming, uh, getting pulled out of the wall. So that's what we have going on here. This is the new Dragon T1 Miner. Um, coming with uh, one of some of these new chips and um, has a thousand watt supply, single power from the back, nothing special, no 230 or, or two phase, it's just single uh, regular power supply. And um, yeah, it seems to work real well. We got it going. We actually have uh, <laughs> another one here and actually another one. We're just waiting for DHL to bring the other one. We're about to set this one up right here. And um, yeah, these are coming out of China. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. This is uh, Dalcor with Bitcoin ASIC hosting. Uh, you can go to our website if you need any kind of dedicated hosting, uh, consulting, or co-location for your ASIC mining gear. Um, and uh, you can either go to our website at bitcoinasichosting.com or you can email us directly at hosting at bitcoinasichosting.com. Again, this is Dalcor. Cheers.